a lot of my childhood has holes in it. I don't really remember. Um, I remember pretty much the traumatic things more than the good things. Um, I, I, I don't even think I could tell you one good thing about my childhood, to be honest with you. I saw a lot of things that I shouldn't have. I have seen things that I, I don't even think I should see now at my age. I went to parties with him because I was, that was my dad and I didn't want to be without him. I remember some days I would just wait by the window to see if he, when he was coming home and sometimes he didn't at all. Sometimes he stayed out. When I would go to parties, I think I would be the only kid there. He would be drunk and doing whatever and there were some parties where like I just couldn't find him and I was alone and I can't imagine the things that could have happened to me. We do not have enough families to meet the need because we need families for our teen population. Those are the ones that it's harder to find family for because family will come forward for the, the newborns and they'll come forward to the four and five year olds, but they're not coming forward to the 14 and 15 year olds. And all the agencies struggle with this. I definitely had to get used to it because I wasn't used to the whole family aspect and the kids just clung to me and I wasn't really used to that either because I never really had healthy relationships. She never got to be a kid, never. You know, my early childhood memory is Disney World. Her early childhood memory is calling a prison looking for her mom. So she went right from being a little child to doing adult things. And statistics say that you know, she has an uphill battle. Statistics say teenage pregnancy, poverty, homelessness, drug abuse, alcoholism. So do I worry because, I, um, because I'm educated on what can happen? That's, that's why I'm worried. We really try to educate our families because they don't understand sometimes that you can take the child out of their environment and they can be with you three or four months, but that's not enough time. Especially if you have a 14-year-old that maybe has been living in um, a situation that's been chaotic most of their lives. It's going to take a while to unpack that bag for them. It might take a year or more as they kind of adjust to your home and you adjust to them and they don't feel safe a lot of times so they challenge you for that. So it, it does take time to kind of help them and get the services they need and help them to know that this person is going to stay with them and not leave them. And that's ideally what we hope to get from our foster families that they can just look at them and say, you know, there is no one like you, and I will always care for you. And that makes a huge difference. The preceding program was presented by Battling Opioids, a project of Pennsylvania Public Media.